What's happening, everybody out here coming at you from downtown Fort Myers? That's right, guys. We're down here in downtown Fort Myers at their monthly car show. Uh, it's a great show. Uh, there's thousands of cars here. There's a lot of cool things to look at. And uh, the first thing that caught my eye was right back here. Uh, this is a 1970 Trans Am. Uh, it's got the 455 Ram Air engine in it that they had that period. Um, this is not the first year for this car. I think 1969 was the first year for this car. But this one's a beauty. Uh, I'm going to show you this one. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff around the show today that I'm going to bring to you. So sit tight and enjoy the show. All right, guys, take a look at this beautiful 1970 Trans Am. Uh, this is not the first year for this car. I think they started building this car in 1969. Uh, you don't often see these cars that often. This one is nicely restored. It's a beautiful white. It's got nice blue stripes on it. I understand that this is a special wheel that was available only this year uh, for these Pontiacs. It's only a 14 inch wheel. Now you come around the front, you look at the nose on this car, and I have to tell you that this is something that I always loved about these Pontiacs. That is absolutely a beautiful nose piece. The lines on this car is gorgeous. Then you just come in here and take a look under the hood. Uh, from what I understand, uh, this is a 455. Now this is not like the GTO engines that had uh, you know, Ram Air 1, Ram Air 2, or 3, or whatever. Uh, it's basically a Ram Air 455 engine that was available in 1970. And uh, this is a really nice car, guys. I'm having a hard time maneuvering. There's a lot of people around here. Uh, but I just want to show you the car. It's a gorgeous car. I've always loved the lines of these Pontiacs. Now, I'm going to bring you around to the interior and show you a few things. Uh, it has a very distinctive Pontiac look to it. A lot of the Pontiacs, the GTOs, the Tempest, the Firebirds, the Trans Am, they all had this kind of look to it. And uh, I'll just get you in here so you can take a look at the gauges. This car looks very original. It doesn't appear that anything was changed. You can see uh, this car's got a four-speed in it. Looks like it's got the original radio. Uh, this car, I believe, has got the, uh, the M21 uh, four-speed transmission, uh, 373. Uh, rear end gear, posi, uh, 12 bolt rear. Uh, these are one of the quick cars for the day, guys. Uh, this was 1970, peak of the muscle car period. This one is gorgeous. You know, from my vantage point, guys, looking at this 70 Pontiac Trans Am, you can see over time, things really hadn't changed all that much in general, because you look at that Pontiac, you look at this gorgeous S197 right here. I mean, I see something similar between these cars. They look about the same wheelbase. They're about the same size. They're powerful muscle cars, in, in my opinion, uh, even though, you know, the Coyotes maybe are, are considered maybe a little bit of a sports car. Then you come over here and you see this car. Uh, this is a 1972 GTO. I featured this car once before, and, and this thing is gorgeous. Now, this one's also you know, got the big Pontiac motor on it, 455. I don't know which version of the Ram Air that it is. Uh, these Pontiacs look a lot the same in many, many ways. Like this um, GTO is a little bit older than that Trans Am. And you look at the interior and they're very similar. And in this case, uh, we have an automatic. Uh, I personally like the automatics. This is a, a judge. Don't you just love those graphics? Come around the back of the car, you see a beautiful wing. I mean, these cars were all about the graphic, it was all about the bling. Uh, people love these cars back in the day. And I gotta tell you, I still love them today. Look at this GTO. You know, I, I my first car was a, G, was a GTO, 69 GTO. And every time I see one of these, I just can't resist, I have to vlog it. But man, this one is a beauty also. Look at the nose piece on that car. And take a look at this. Uh, this is an AMC Javelin. This is a car you don't see too often. Look at this. I got more information on it this time. I vlogged this car last year. 1973 Javelin. I'll pan over this so that you guys can see all of this information. Okay. This car is spectacular. Look at the lines on this car. You know, it was argued back in the day during this time that the AMCs were actually building the better cars. They had good chassis, suspension, brakes. The styling was very, very nice. It was very different from a lot of the other cars. You come around and just look at this one. This thing is restored perfectly. Look at that AMC Javelin. I absolutely love this car. It is stunning. Now, let me get you inside and you'll see something interesting 
Really no other car looks like this. Very, very unique to AMC for the period. Look at that shifter. Um, to me, that looks a little similar to a, a 69 Camaro shifter that you would see, you know, an automatic style shifter. You know, you can see that everything's simple. He's got an aftermarket radio in it. I can't blame him. But overall, the car is looking basically stock. It's a beautiful looking car. Love that ducktail spoiler. I gotta tell you, I love this stuff, guys. All right, everybody, there's a lot of nice stuff here. I found a nice spot. Look at that Chevelle back there. But check this out. Look at this. Uh, we got a gotta have it green Boss 302. Let's take a look at this one. All right, everybody, check this out. Uh, this is a 2013 Boss 302 Mustang. Okay, this is one of the most beautiful S197s that I could say uh, that I've seen. You know, S197s are gorgeous cars in the first place, but this one is spectacular in the Gotta Have It Green. Now, let's, uh, let's look under the hood. Uh, here we have the Roadrunner engine. Now, this is much like a Coyote, but it's a completely different animal. This has got full forged internals, uh, strengthened rod and main bolts. It's got CNC ported heads, different cam, Boss 302 intake manifold. Uh, this car makes 444 horsepower, and these cars really rip. Now, this is, uh, you know, basically uh, a road car, uh, very different than a, a garden variety S197 that you might buy. Love the nose piece on this car. Uh, here's a look at the billboard that the owner has here. Beautiful uh, Boss 302, love all of this stuff. Give you a look at some of the things that he's showing us here. Right? All the specs on the Boss 302. Here it is, right here. I give you guys a look at it. Okay. Really nice car. And uh, there you see Boss 302. Now, this car is mostly stock. I talked to the owner. Uh, he tells me that the, the hood lift supports here are one of the only modifications that he made. And then we'll come over here and look inside the interior. You see the Recaro seats with the Boss 302 in it. And look at that. Look at that little thing he's got over the radio. Uh, you know, 444 horsepower, 380 pound-feet of torque. There's a look at the gauges. Beautiful interior. This is a really nice car, guys. Look at the back of the car. So there is a lot of cool cars at this show, and uh, I just want to take the opportunity to look at this Chevelle. All right, everybody, take a look at this beautiful 1967 Chevelle. Now, this car uh, has been built up uh, he's got the Super Sport emblems on it. Uh, I've talked to the owner of this car. Uh, this car did not start its life as a Super Sport, but he did a really good job getting this thing set up to look like one. Now, if you look over here, you can see it says 396, okay? Uh, but this car does not have a 396 in it. It's got a big block, but what it has is a 454. Now, uh, Taking a look at this 454, you know, here, here we are in a day and age where you typically will see something like this. It might be aluminum block, it might have aluminum heads on it, uh, but the owner of this car has decided not to do that. Uh, this is a rectangular port engine, 454, standard bore. Uh, he's got a cam in it, he's making horsepower with it, but it, this car is really more about the car than it is about the engine. Now, the engine is making some power, uh, by today's standards, it's probably not up to snuff. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that this car won't run because a finely tuned big block Chevrolet 454 with rectangular ports will make a lot of power. So we come around to this interior and uh, I gotta tell you, I was over here looking at this car a little while ago. Uh, this interior was done very well. Uh, it's custom. Uh, these, um, these seats are, are custom um, made and uh, they came out of an early Pontiac, okay? Uh, the center console was done very nicely. You can see it's got the stock gauge cluster up in there. Even looks like he's got the stock radio. So, you know, guys, uh, I appreciate these uh, these early cars. You know, I'm not exactly a muscle car guy. Uh, I wasn't around during the muscle car period. I got my license in 1980, to be honest with you. Uh, so these cars were pretty well worn out by the time my day came around. But a 67 Chevelle actually was one of the nicest body styles at the time, guys. I gotta tell you, I really love this car. Yeah, Mustang Bullet. Look at that.
All right, guys, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, we got a car here that I've seen before, but now I get a chance to get a close look at it. Check out that 69 Mustang. Uh, now, this is a car that we've had down at Five Bar. Uh, the car got a new transmission at the time. Uh, it had a three-speed in it, and uh, he put in a 4R70W. And uh, this is a really nice car. Look at that, guys. I'm going to turn the camera around. Let me show you this one. This one's really cool. All right, guys, check out this beautiful 69 Mustang. Now, this is not a perfect car, guys, but it's a very, very nice car. Uh, this is a car that we've seen before. We had it down at Five Bar, and um, it's a very, very nice color. It, it also looks like the very much like the Royal Crimson that we saw on the 18 and 19 uh, Mustang GTs. Now, this car has been done very well, and I want to just point out, look at all the chrome that's on the car. Look at the chrome bumper. Uh, look at the chrome down on the rocker panel. Uh, the owner of this car has put a very nice set of wheels on it, period specific, chrome Kreger style wheels. They look great. And uh, look at all the chrome around the windows. These cars are gorgeous. Now this car's got a lot of stuff in it, guys. Look at the disc brakes in the back, all right? Car's really worked up nice. And uh, I'm gonna take you around to the front and show you some of the other things that we have here. You know, he's got a, a nice set of brakes in the front. The car looks great. Love the color of this car. And uh, we're just gonna take a look under the hood now. Now, this engine here uh, is a 351 Cleveland. Now, for anybody who's familiar with these engines, uh, this is an engine that was short-lived, in my opinion. It was a little late to market, but it was one of the most powerful power plants that Ford had at the time. This particular engine is a four-barrel engine, and um, it's got the big four-barrel heads. They're quench heads. Uh, they've been cleaned up a little bit. Uh, this engine's cranking about 10 and a half to one compression, so it runs on pump gas. It's really not very complicated, uh, but he does have a fuel injection style um, way of supplying fuel to it. Uh, he's got the, the brakes upgraded, you can see it there. He's got a uh, upgraded air conditioning system in it, something that you really have to have here in Florida. But uh, this car also has had some upgrades. The transmission has been changed. He's running a uh, 4R70W transmission in it. It's a really nice car. It's a great street car, wonderful daily driver. The owner of this car absolutely loves this thing. And you take a look inside and uh, you really get to see what it looked like back in 1969. Now, if you look over there, you'll see we got Mach 1 emblems. I really don't know if this car is truly a Mach 1. Um, nevertheless, it's a really nice car. Looks like it's got the stock shifter there. Okay, that's what they looked like back then. I gotta tell you guys, this is a gorgeous car. Every time I see a 1969 Mustang, my heart skips a beat. Now, my second car was a 1969 Mustang Fastback, just like this one. Uh, this one is a heck of a lot nicer than the one I had. But I gotta tell you guys, this is a beauty. All right, guys, it just wouldn't be right if I couldn't find the Mustangs. There aren't a lot of Mustangs at this show, but I found a couple of them. Look at that, okay? 93 Cobra. I had a 93 Cobra once. I bought it brand new, uh, vibrant red. It was a gorgeous car. And look at that, a GT350. All right, let's take a close look at these cars, man. This is nice stuff right here. All right, everybody, what we have here is a beautiful GT350. Uh, one thing I can say about these cars, I love the nose piece. I mean, really, the Gen 3s look nice, the Gen 2s look nice, but I think the uh, GT350 style nose piece like this one is the nicest one of all. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this is deep impact blue. This is a really nice color. Um, this car is a very nice car. I believe the owner of this car daily drives it. Uh, not a lot, it doesn't have a lot of miles on it, but the car looks like it's kept pretty good and it looks very, very nice. So I'm just gonna take a minute, take a look in the interior. 100% GT350, all stock. Love the Recaro seats. You know, uh, six-speed transmission. These cars are great, man. This is one of the things I think Ford did right when they built this one. All right, guys, did you hear what that exhaust sounded like? Uh, this is a beautiful 93 Cobra. Uh, I had one of these cars in 1993, it was a vibrant red one. So every time I see one, I gotta say, there's nothing like a 93 Cobra. This was the best Fox body ever built. Uh, this one is in teal. I'm gonna turn the camera around, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about it. 
All right, everybody. So as we sit here and listen to this 93 Cobra run, I just want to point out that this car is not completely stock. Uh, that is actually an E-cam that's in the engine. And uh, there's the owner getting in there. Uh, he's getting ready to take off. Listen to that, man. It's got a nice sound to it. Uh, but this is a beautiful 93 Cobra. Uh, this is a car that had four-wheel disc brakes. Uh, but this is a really nice car. I got to love it. Anybody got to love it. I love it. I think every every Mustang guy loves this car. It's beautiful teal. I, I don't know if they call it teal green. I don't really remember. But she's a beauty. Listen to this. That is awesome, man. All right, guys. Lots of cool stuff here. Check this out. Look at this. 1971 also Beal Cutlass. This one's a beauty. Let me show you this one. All right, guys, check out this beauty. Uh, 1971 also Beal Cutlass. Now, this is not a 442. It is just a simple Cutlass. But I got to tell you guys, I remember seeing these cars on the street back in the day, you know, in the late 70s. Uh, these were one of the nicest body styles that I can remember seeing. Um, really, I love the lines of this car. Now, like I say, this is not a 442. This is nothing more than a Rocket 350. And believe it or not, these Rocket 350s made tons of power for a 350 cubic inch engine. But really, you know, um, there was a lot of interest in Chevelles and a lot of Chevrolets at the time. But look at the nose piece on this Oldsmobile. This is a car that I have to say was one of my favorites at the time. Now I'm just gonna come around here, get you into the interior here. Now, this is a, a car that's got an automatic transmission uh, it is not the stock transmission. I understand that the owner of this car put in an overdrive. Uh, this is what the interior of an Oldsmobile looked like. It was a little bit more upscale than the Chevrolets. But they, this car's got a really nice shade of black. There again, there's the Rocket 350. I'm just taking a look at the nose again. This car is absolutely beautiful. We're going to go down the side. We'll go around the back. Love the lines. Look at that vinyl top. Look at all the chrome, the way it pops up against the black but man you know i love these oldsmobiles i love these early gm cars get a look at that one of the nicest cars i gotta tell you guys i love this one all right guys we're gonna close out the show another great day down here in downtown fort myers the weather's beautiful about 70 degrees late january you can't beat it okay guys thanks for watching i appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one